Morning! Welcome to day two aboard the Disney Dream. We're about to see something very special. I'm so excited. <gasps> Go say. Oh wow. Oh, it's definitely warmed up now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Bahamas. In fact, you can actually just see well, you can't see because it's really small, but three little dots, and that's Atlantis. In the hotel. Even the photo doesn't do it justice of what it looks like in real life. I know, it's amazing. I like that swooping cloud. Yeah. Beautiful. It's lovely, the air. It's really nice. Mm. Welcome to the Bahamas. I feel so bad being like, it's so glorious and you're not there, but... At the same time... Maybe one day you'll come. <laughs> I was gonna be shady. I was gonna be like, at the same time, we're here. So <laughs> I had a really good night's sleep. Did you sleep alright? Yeah, good. You had the you had the Murphy bed. Yeah, you're still looking at my son. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. This breeze. Don't drop the phone. We have ordered breakfast to the state room via the little card. Um, it should be arriving any moment now. Uh, I've got a couple of dollars out to tip the lovely person who brings it because whilst stateroom service is free, it's advised to tip. I advise tip. We've got the um, shit wide channel on, just so we can hear some Disney music whilst we wait for our breakfast. Um, I've just found this letter, which is um, from like the Castaway Club team, and apparently gold and platinum members get 10% off a certain merchandise. Which means you could potentially get 10% off your pin haul. Bless us everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I just did a Gary. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't add him. Um, so I was like, breakfast should be here by now. Like we, It was ordered between 7 and 7.30. I forgot to put it on the door. I put it on the inside of the door to remind me to put it on the outside of the door and then didn't put it on the outside of the door. We all make mistakes, some more than others. <laughs> cabanas it is. <laughs> Let's go. I actually really like the cabanas breakfast, so I'm not complaining. How does she know she's yours? How does she know that you love her? Do, 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 whatever the words are, la 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 the song. Good morning. Thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? I am good, thank you. We've gone for a table outside at Cabana's and just... How beautiful. It's so nice the air as well, nice and clean, no humidity, it's warm. I'm happy. Oh my god, this all looks so good. This is Egg Julia. Poached egg with smoked salmon on a muffin. Yes! Come with me and you'll be in my mouth and then in my tummy. Mickey waffles, sausages, croissant sandwiches, pancakes, potatoes. Oh, breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> A real mix of things. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I've also ordered a create your own omelette, so they'll bring that to the table. Oh, mother. That was good. Mm. Donuts, muffins, pastries. Nice. Love a jungle juice in the morning. Just going for a little walk of the ship with our little jungle juice. Juice. And then we're gonna head back to the room, watch the ship come in, get ready for the day, have a little moo moo charu of Nassau. That's it, just drop it down, yeah. I have, I'm glad I'm getting this all on camera though. I'm glad I'm able to ever dent to people. I love the music. To the Disney dream. The ship, not just in general. I was, I was thinking, I was like, that's a very good, like, 
the Disney dream. First thing in the morning is a good time to come down if you'd like to uh, get a view of the atrium without anyone in the shot. We also picked up a map of the ship from Disney's guest services. Um, I actually have one of these from my first ever cruise and I framed it and it makes a very nice piece of art. I wanna swing from the chandelier. It's too early for the voice to be on. <laughs> <laughs> but what if this is the voice? This is the voice! <laughs> what would you say is your favourite part of the ship? Well, this is one of them. The little hand thingy. The little hand. Reminds me of the clocks the watchers used to get back in the day with the Mickey hands. This is the wrong thing to say, but it reminds me of the Tower of Terror. How lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, but do you have like a favourite room on the ship that you've seen? Um, it's hard to tell because they're all so like up there. Upperland! <laughs> Mm. Cash number seven, please. What do I really like? I do like the lobby as you come in. And there, just on the horizon, is Nassau. Adam's in the shower, and we've just arrived. There's the lighthouse. We're currently doing a 180 turn in order to make port at Nassau, but oh, this is so beautiful. That water looks so nice. So Gary, do you want to tell the people at home what happened? And why you've got a tissue on your finger? I went to the shower, opened up my wash bag, thinking it's time to beautify and be ready for Nassau. Well, do the best you could. And do the best I can <laughs> with what little tricks I have at this age. And I opened it up and I cut my finger on my razor. But thankfully, Nurse Adam has a little, a little more medical kit, so we're all gonna be fine. My first goal wasn't, my finger, my finger, I'm bleeding my finger. It was, I don't want to plaster in my picture with the characters. We've had our little welcome talk from the uh, cruise director about the sound and stuff like that. Um, I was also just going through some stuff that we had like dropped in the room when we arrived, and they had this like a Disney Vacation Club preview, and if you go, you get fifty dollars stateroom credit for forty-five minutes of sitting in a room listening to something I want but can't afford. <laughs> Sounds good. That's fifty dollars of pins for Gary. I'm not dressed yet. <laughs> well, once again, a very pleasant good morning. Disney Dream, it's your cruise director, Jimmy, welcoming you to Nassau, the Bahamas. And at this time, I'm very happy to announce that the ship has been cleared by the local authorities. And guests wishing to go ashore may do so by accessing one of those two gangways in place. Ready? I'm preppy. I'm ready to go. Preppy. <laughs> preppy and ready. Um, we have two gangways today. We have them on midship and forward. So we're going to head down to forward because we're at the aft. Most people end up going to mid, so we want to have as minimal weight getting off as possible. Classy son. So on the, Dis on the Disney Dream and Fantasy, this carpet in the middle here is a different colour based on which staircase you're in. Oh, okay. So in forward it's red, and I think on mid it's green, and the back it's blue. I think this requires a photo! <laughs> Thanks. Woo. Feel that sun. Woo, girl. It's lovely. Oh, look at that. The ship coming in. Beep, beep. How'd you like your new uh, Castaway Club bag? Feels like it was always mine. <laughs> I mean, was it ever going to be mine? Let's. Whoa, whoa. What? I nearly dropped the camera. <laughs> Beautiful. Love our ship. We 
bought tickets to a water taxi over to Paradise Island. It was $8 round trip, $4 each way. Um, we're just having a little stroll whilst they, we, we wait for the boat to be ready to go. And I'll let you know what we think about like the process. Because I normally take a cab over. Um, but we're just having a little walk. There's uh, Senior Frogs here, which is a bar that I know a lot of people like to come to. Evidently it's not open yet, but uh, nice little place to go. And it's just oh, like a walk nice along the seafront. A little courtyard, that's nice. Main Street Ice Cream Parlour. It's a bit different than the actual Main Street Ice Cream Parlour, isn't it? Cute though. Just noticed all the stuffed toys hanging from the ceiling. It's like a cat, like. <laughs> Not sure about those life jackets, Gary. <laughs> At least we're not far from shore. Splash! The Splash, Splash Mountain sunglasses! They've lasted this long. Well, I guess you get to treat yourself in the Bahamas. Oh, hello. <laughs> this port can hold up to seven cruise ships at any one time and they've recently had the largest or well, one of the largest ships in the world the aurora of the seas which can hold six and a half thousand passengers oh wow you were saying that was the most expensive house on the island but now because it's been destroyed by the hurricane it's now the cheapest house on the island oh wow this this water's only 12 feet deep whilst where the ships come in is like 90 feet I'm enjoying the fact that he's like giving us like fun facts and stuff. This is Nicolas Cage's house. That's fun. So if you're looking at Atlantis, the bridge in the middle here, that's actually a suite. And it costs $25,000 a night. Treat yourself. <laughs> so I actually really enjoyed that boat ride. It was better than taking a taxi and also cheaper. Yeah, soothing as well. The guy was telling us loads of facts and figures. Yeah. Oh, it, it was the kind of a situation where he was like, I don't work on this boat. Can you tip me? So we did, obviously. I gave him like $5 because it means I can share fun facts with you guys. So yeah, I enjoyed it very much. And uh, we'll probably take it back as well. Um, $16 for two of us there and back, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Marina Village, you can see the influence of the British colonisation and stuff. Yeah. Because there's a zebra crossing. So <laughs> they still drive on the left side of the road here as well. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, these are nice. It's like Bista Village. <laughs> it's quite similar actually. It's like the same. <laughs> if you wanted to look at how bougie this place is, they have a marina just to pull your yacht into the hotel. Yeah. And some non-brand sunglasses. We asked the lady, how much are these? Because obviously I just broke mine. Um, $200 plus. Well, about, no. That's about $20. Yeah. <laughs> I must say Paradise Island is really nice to come to. Even if you just want to look around some shops, they've got plenty of shopping. Starbucks if you fancy a little flavor from home pick me up. <laughs> Um, and obviously Atlantis is just over here. They've so. got Ben and Jerry's there. Have they? Mm. Ooh. So that was actually a benefit of taking the ferry, was that we actually get to walk through this. If you take the car, they just drop you off at the door. Oh, that is of the hotel. And then, ah. Got a sweet shop. Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar. <laughs> Smells nice. Smells nice in the air conference as well. Got a Mac. They'll have a sunglass shop here, surely. Yeah, I think they will. And then 
brutal. <laughs> Impressions? Rub the lucky horse hoop. <laughs> this is so nice. I don't think I've actually ever come this deep into the hotel to have a proper look around. So there's a reason we can't go further. It's because you have to be an Atlantis guest to come any further. Welcome to the Crystal Maze! <laughs> du, 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 du. <laughs> you ready to head back to the ship? Yeah, let's go back. We've seen what we wanted to say. Yeah. And it's, we've got our creature comforts and that on the ship, and we can have the free foods and everything. Well, I was going to suggest um, because you get uh, whatever you want for lunch, we can actually go to the sit down royal palace where we were last night and get, you want to get some pictures of that. Yeah, we can do it. We popped, it, we popped into the, like, the expensive sunglasses shop. We put them on, I put them on, nice enough. Look at the price. I put it back. <laughs> 320 odd dollars, 280 odd before tax. And I was like, no, 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 let's not. We come in here, 24 dollars, more like it. Yeah, so if you see me rocking a pair of these, you'll know that I'm cheap. <laughs> but I don't care. Okay, there's a lot of aviators. Job done. So from Splash Mountain to Atlantis in the Bahamas. Yep. You see how long these ones last? We found like the main check-in bit. And there's like a lounge. Nice lounge bit. It's very, uh, it's very luxury Disney. Yes, like beach club. She loves a fountain. Dolphins as well. I'm with dolphins here, but I'm a bit funny about that. Yeah, I am too. When the man said, oh, that's where they keep the dolphins left, wasn't that a very big thing, was it? No. I mean, I, uh, yeah. Each to their own, but not for me. Looking beautiful. Looking good, feeling great. If you're coming on this cruise itinerary and you are stopping in the cell, I do recommend bringing a bottle of water. Um, we've had the, the, like, the bottles that I got and they've been fine. They've been fine, they've done us over. Yep. And we've not had to... Um... We did get one like can of Coke, didn't we? Yeah, but that was only a couple of dollars. Some yeah. of the places well, are charging yeah. a lot. Yes, there's a lot of people trying to abuse the tourism. We sound so tight. We're always like trying well, to save a coin. We are trying to save money. But because when you we go don't on just... a holiday, you, you want you've to got, you've got, it. You've got to appreciate the value of the dollar. You don't just want to spend money for no yeah. reason. Also, I want real things to take home with me. Yeah, yes. and if we're going to treat ourselves, don't worry. Yeah. We'll treat ourselves, but at the same time, we don't want to spend money mindlessly. No, not on silly little things. Yeah. Like water and surviving. <laughs> Pins. <laughs> Being alive. Um, but we're going to head back to the ship, uh, go and get some lunch. Uh, it's been a nice little excursion, but I think we've seen what we want to see. Yeah, I've seen yeah. all the things I wanted to see, and now it's time to get back and look characters. This time we're on top of a boat. <laughs> yeah, now we've got a top deck view. You can see right out over there. And we want to get a shot of the ship as we're like going around, so. They can see all the boats, the ships, whatever they're called. On the coast of Europe! recommend it for anyone with disabilities or mobility issues because boarding the boat is like what is going up and down um, and there's no way to put wheelchair or anything no 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 so bear that in mind uh, but no a really enjoyable morning and we're just looking forward to getting some lunch now home sweet home just enjoying my new sunglasses mm -hmm. $20 come 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 <laughs> one come all <laughs> God. Snowing! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Done a good job. Looks like we've come. Ooh, this is nice. Not a soul to be seen. We're going to Royal Court for lunch. Everything uh, the light belongs to us. <laughs> 
because uh, we had the buffet this morning for breakfast, it'd be nice to kind of have a nice little sit down, have the, have the food brought to us, much appreciated. Mm. Hello. For lunch I'm going to go for the Mexican tortilla soup, and I'm also going to try the Impossible Cheeseburger, because I've never had one before, and I think they're quite expensive outside of, um, you know, free Disney Cruise Line. I say free, but like included. <laughs> I got the... Mine comes with little breads, supposedly. Them for the breads. <laughs> you can ask more bread if you want it. Um, it's really nice. How's yours? Very nice. You need to taste it. It's French onion soup. French onion? No, it's mm. not. What have you got? It, vegetable then? lentil soup. Who knows? <laughs> I just pointed at a thing. Mm. Gary just said, I don't want to overeat. I'm not going to overeat. Because I want the dessert. <laughs> so this is the Impossible Burger. That's what it looks like. What's it taste like? It's close. It's close to a real burger. But there's something different about it. What is it? Hmm. It's tasty, it just doesn't taste the same. That's fine. It's nice. I like it. Did someone say dessert? Look at mine. Mine's like a piece of art. That's amazing. Look at that. Mine. <laughs> Our lovely server, Mal, is from uh, Japan. So we were asking her about Tokyo Disney. And um, she's given us a lot of tips and was saying that people wait long lines to meet characters. A long time. Yeah. But I knew that people waited ages to meet Duffy the Bear. Well, apparently there was a news story that people waited 11 hours to meet Mickey. What's 11 hours between <laughs> friends? <laughs> I would actually kill you. Um, and we also found out that she worked in the Japan Pavilion at Katsura Grill. And if you if you watch my vlogs a lot, you'll know that I love Katsura Grill for their katsu curry. Um, and uh, she also worked at, in the Japan Pavilion when I was working in the UK Pavilion. So we were like neighbours. <laughs> Lunch was amazing. So nice. Our server Mao was fantastic. Love her to pieces. Um, she was really <laughs> like a highlight of the holiday so far. Yeah, she or she, she was, was so she was talking about her favourite ride in Tokyo Disney, which is like a Sinbad boat ride, and she was like, I love the music oh, because it's um because it's uh, Sinbad music. No, not Sinbad music. It's music by Alan Menken. Yeah. And then Gary just slid into conversation. Oh, I've sung with Alan Menken, and she she was like, she lost what? It. She was she, <laughs> she was, was like, like what? <laughs> So um, we gave her like the title of the video that Gary's uh, in there. If you're interested, I'll link it below. Singing with Alan Menken, Gary saying. <laughs> um, now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop back to the room, change into some swimming costumes, and then we might either go to the adult pool, we might go to the spa. The world is our oyster. The world is our oyster. We're just having a nice little chill session now for a couple of hours. Uh, and then we'll probably pick you back up once we're um, getting ready for, we're thinking of going to the Disney Vacation Club mm -hmm. talk to get a $50 free room credit. Ooh. Previously on Adam and Gary do Disney Dream Cruise, uh, we went to the spa. Yes, we did and it was lovely. Paid for the $29 rainforest room uh, experience, day pass. My skin feels so soft and like cleansed. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> Uh, I think for us it wasn't really worth it because we after we'd we'd had enough after an hour. After an hour we'd had enough. <laughs> um, if you wanted to like use it for like a full day and like read a book and escape the kids, great value for money. Um, it also really, had hot beds. Yes, so and there's a lot of people reading and stuff in there. Um, also the changing rooms have a steam room in there and you don't have to pay to use that. So if you just wanted to use a basic steam room. You can do that. Mm. Um, we're just currently watching Mickey Mouse cartoons. We're going to go to the Disney Vacation Club talk in a short while. Got some Gary coffees doing... from the coffee place. We did. We got some coffees. Uh, Gary's doing some drawing, and we've decided. Well, I've finished now. I've made all my last adjustments and everything. It's been going backwards and forwards for like four or five days, and this is my next print. It is going to be called. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Hang on. Can you see that now? Yeah, I can see it now. It's called Dare to Dream. This is my little mouse friend. He's got some crayons and he's, he's looking to the stars because he's got his little mouse house and he's turned it into a castle. So he's daring to dream. Dare to dream. We're on the Disney dream. Yeah, and if it's uh, available, link below. If it's still about, yeah, link below. 
Who travelled all around the world and everywhere he went. Goes a clever gent. <laughs> lyrics, lyrics, the words, the words. The words, la la la. One thing I forgot to mention, we've actually booked to use the Disney Cruise Line transfer bus back to Ooh. Walt Disney World because um, coming here was fine. Like it was reasonably affordable for both of us to do it and to come at a time we wanted to. But um, we checked the price of what an Uber would be going back when we arrived, and it was obscene. The guy, the guy quoted us a lot of money. So a lot said, of money. So, no. <laughs> so um, we're not doing that. And uh, also, it takes the stress out as well, mm -hmm. because then um, the, we know the coach is going to leave at nine. We can get off the ship whenever we're feeling like it, when we can pick up our bags. I've never and been on a Disney Cruise Line coach, so that means I've been on all of them. Private function, we're going to go around. <laughs> Um, how do we go around? I guess this way. Okay, let's get some onboard credit. Oh, yeah. We've got complimentary bottles of Evian. We've also got a little booklet, and also we're filling in a raffle card to potentially win some money. Ooh, money for what? It is very important that we do not buy Disney Vacation Club. We are not allowed to buy Disney Vacation Club. Understood? Yeah, 7150 is the room. Correct. Charge it up. But. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Well, if costs were no issue, no object, and you were getting off the ship on Friday and checking into Disney World and staying at Disney, which resort would you rather stay at if costs were, not, were no object? The deluxe value or moderates? So let's say you were to book a deluxe studio, standard view for one full week in the dream season, how many points would that take? One, two, three, shout it out. 130. 130, excellent. Please excuse my hat here. Um, the Disney Vacation Club talk was very interesting, actually. I, when I last looked at it, it was a few years ago, like, well, seven years ago. And um, I think when I looked at it then, I was like, because of the flight prices, it doesn't really make it worth it. But then at the same time, flight prices have come down a lot in the last seven years to make me think that Maybe I should look into it properly. Um, we bumped into a couple of the people that we had uh, met coming through onto the ship, and uh, they said that buying on a cruise is the best thing to do because you can save money. So I'm not saying I'm gonna buy it on this cruise. There's <laughs> like special offers on and stuff. Yeah, so if you buy like a certain number of points, they take a sum off and they give you $500 of like a stateroom credit or something like that. So it could be something I look at uh, on doing on a future cruise. I thought I was gonna be sitting there on my phone looking at all the itineraries whilst he was writing notes and taking it all in. They, they suck me in, girls, yeah. they suck me in. I was like, they're very good salespeople. They're very good salespeople. <laughs> when she said about, oh, if you're going on Disney, if, you, if you're spending the money anyway, you might as well put it into this membership so that you're saving money in and six years' time. And they kept doing these like interaction things where it was like, raise your hand if you plan on going on more vacations for the rest yeah. of your life. So everyone it, raised their hand. It went, we can save you again. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's just like a cloud in front of my eyes right now, and I will try my best to objectively look at it. Objectively look oh. at the numbers. The off numbers. the cruise. I'm not booking. I'm not jumping into spending. Well, they said like 150 points, which is like a basic package. If you wanted to get that per year, was $28,200 as a purchase oh. price. What are you doing? Just walking to the bed, and it really hurt. So it's a lot of money. <laughs> um, of, that's obviously not what you'd pay up. You could pay up front, but they like finance it or whatever. I don't know. It's very confusing. But in other news, it's formal night, and I have a Mickey Mouse shirt. That is cute. Where'd you get it from? Uh, Merry Christmas to me from the parents. So I don't know. Oh, we have an announcement. You just caught that on camera. The little noise. Or not? Or not? Good evening, oh. uh, Disney Dream. This is uh, Commodore Tom speaking from the... Commodore? Not be able to dock in the Castaway Key tomorrow morning. Right. So and basically, the Commodore is saying um, that tomorrow, the weather at Castaway Key tomorrow is meant to be very, very bad. So he's saying we're going to pull out... So we're going to pull up outside the island uh, tomorrow morning. And then he'll make a call as to whether or not we can actually go in. And then if it's bad, we're going to have a day at sea tomorrow and then go back to the island on what would have been our day at sea. So that's good that they're moving it if it's bad. But, um, rats! 
They're having a little party over there. When they sent the horn over there, they didn't turn on that carnival music. Samba, Mickey, Samba! I'm so glad I got it on camera. <laughs> Yay! Let the people know <laughs> Disney was here. Goodbye! Goodbye! Said Disney. Mom! Mom! to show off for the other ships. Yeah. <laughs> Sail with us next time, girl. Uh, I said these. They're really making a point of taking the other ships. I like that one. That's good. They were there at the very top. Pirate oh. for me. You wouldn't be a snowman. I love that. That's good. Oh. I'd love if I did that as well. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? Is that all we got? I'd laugh at the end. They just went. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back with Gary and Adam. The idiocy continues. Adam, what did you just do? I was having a slight emotional breakdown because I thought I'd put on like a stone um, whilst on the cruise for two days because I checked my trousers fit before we left, tried them on, fine. Got here, ready for formal night, and so tight. I was like, oh my god, like I've put on so much weight. I was just having like a little bit of a crisis. Like, I, I hit my body. But what the other. really happened? I, uh, I, I, I put my formal trousers over my day shorts. Well. So. How the tables have turned. Yeah. Not the finest moment. But let's go see a show! Woo! I still haven't come across the magic ones yet that do stuff. Oh, I know where they are, so I can, I can take you there. Good. <laughs> well, they've got a rave going on down here. Tonight is Beauty and the Beast, a bit like Beauty and the Beast. Um, so I'm very looking forward to the show. I have seen it before, and it's my favourite Disney Cruise Line production. So <sighs> I cried last time like a baby. I like the little flame torches on the side. Mm. Well. Wow. <laughs> barely stand up. It's um, my favourite show ever. That's what I'm going to say. Well, <sighs> so if you didn't get from what I just said, because um, of the chaos, because of the chaos trying to get out, but it's so good. It's, it's incredible. It, the fact it's on a cruise ship, they have that many costumes, that many set pieces, they're that good as singers, dancers, everything. It is my favourite stage production. It was incredible. I love it so, so much. I would... How does a moment last forever? I was like, don't cry. Oh. Because in the original 2017 version of the film, that's when my crying started. <laughs> and it didn't stop there. <laughs> no, I've got a headache from tearing up so many times. Love it. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. Wearing the same. Oh. <laughs> They're both wearing a little suit. The whole reason Gary wore a suit. Yeah. To it's get a picture whole, with him. I wear the character in a formal suit. Why do you wear that? We're there now. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the golden neck is on tonight. Right, the 
worry, the concern is how to get this back to London because of how heavy it is. How much is it? It's forty dollars, but it's forty dollars well spent because I saw it, I wanted it. Okay, Gary. I think we need to have a pin intervention. We don't. I am the pin queen. It's official. Uh, I can try and reason with him, but I know I'm going to lose. Oh, Mickey. It's really heavy. You're really heavy. On it's my brain. And it says, oh, this is a decorative item, not a toy. We'll see. Could be a murder weapon, you never know. Yeah. Gary C in the library with the golden Mickey. Doof. Somebody only went and treated themselves. Well, I treated myself. And a half to a golden Mickey. Pins. pins. A lanyard pin set. Mm -hmm. Two pin set bundles. Mm -hmm. All Disney Cruise Line. Oh, you, you obviously deserve it though, don't you? Oh, but, I well, did. You've been working very hard this I've been walking loads with my dodgy legs, so <laughs> that's what I might treat is to myself. Oh dear. We're just dropping that in the room, and then we're going to go back. We're going to go for dinner at Animator's Palette. Got a little penguin by the looks of it. Is it a penguin? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> is this going to be the theme? This what is, is it? Well, that's the problem, is that on my last cruise I did the same thing. I was like, let's play What is the Towel Animal? I think it's a penguin because it's got a beak. I think it's a penguin in a Slytherin jacket. <laughs> that's what it looks like. So when we first came out, I thought it was dark grey, and I was like, it's a Slytherin penguin. <laughs> it's not. Hi, how's it going? How are you, Miss Eden? Very well, how are you? Hello. Mr. Gary, nice Hello. to see you. Welcome nice back. See you too. Thank you. I'm loving it here. Are you glad that we're here twice? Yeah, this is cool. So I, um, I actually called a Disney Cruise Line ahead of time and requested if we could be in the rotation that dines here twice because on a four night cruise, obviously, you have to go back to one of the restaurants at least once. Um, so I'm very glad that they got it. Obviously, it's not guaranteed, but... Very happy, Gary. Yeah, I like the chairs. Mickey Mouse. Gary is very happy. I've just done a burst on my phone of this so that I can turn it into a gift. It's a hotel. I am messing about, girls. I am messing about. <laughs> Ooh, focaccia bread. Very nice. It's Italian. I think the whole menu is kind of Italian, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually. Turtle talk with Crash. Yeah. Over there. There he is. What shape are the fish making? I think it's a clownfish. Everybody. Oh no, it's Dory. Everybody's doing interpretive dance these days. It's come back. Who knew? Ooh. That looks amazing. Chick, 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 you see, this is what I have to deal with. He tells, he tells me one thing one time and then a different thing it's the other time. It's me that likes it arctic cold. At home I sleep with the windows open and stuff. And yet you were so critical of me thinking, oh, you like it arctic cold and I don't do nothing! I look, I love it cold. Siberia, apart from that thing in the spa today, there was this sh shower thing and you had to choose like cold mist or Siberian winter or something. And it literally was like ice pellets. What were you expecting was something called Siberian winter? I thought maybe, maybe. It was gonna be like a play on words somehow. Like, oh, it's cold. But no, it was Siberian. So you are you think you're smarter than the text that's written in front of you? I think I'm smarter than the English language. <laughs> I think that? you and I both know. That's yeah. a lie. We're going to the adults evening show. It's like Mr. and Mrs. 
And, oh, it's already gone. All right, cool. I put the breakfast menu out, because I'm a genius. I remembered this time. I've already taken it. Evidently. Well, someone else has taken it. <laughs> we'll be so, someone thought, oh, that's a good order. He calls five and some more. Wow, yeah, put all that in that part. He calls five and more. Please name a man's favorite body part on a woman. Make one that you wrote down. Just the boys Yeah! <laughs> the twins. So if you're just joining us, my name is Tisa. Welcome to Evolution, everybody. It's not time for this right here. It's time for this right here. It's time for this right here, y'all. Can y'all see it? Can y'all see it? Because it's time. It's time for Natural Man! <laughs> I love her. I love her. <laughs> If you watch the last Disney Cruise Line series with me and Matt, me and Magic, me and Rachel on the Magic, we had this drink. Uh, here it's called Paris 75, and it's rather lovely. So ladies, one more time, thank you so much for being a part of the show. Ladies! <laughs> ladies, when you first, when you first met your husband, what would he say? I'm going to flip it. But what he said was the very first thing that caught his attention about you. Ladies, when you first met your husband, what would he say was the very first thing that caught his attention? You think like this, what did you think she said was your worst habit she had to pick one? Well, let's give it another try, farts. Wow. That's the first step at admitting it. You know what I'm saying? That's not what she said. That's not what she said. Gaseous clay, thank you. Okay, <laughs> she actually said your worst habit is picking your feet. <laughs> she was real specific with that one. Who would you say is his worst habit if yeah, you had to pick one? I don't know, this one's a hard one. I guess cutting his toenails, like, and just like leaving it, like, forever. <laughs> What did you think of the the host maker? The host is incredible. She is the show. She is hilarious. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. <laughs> she's so sassy and very quick. We had a family sat next to us actually, and uh, they were saying like, your cheeks will be hurting by the end of the show. And I, I was, I've seen it on the magic with Rachel, but very true. Um, it's been a really good day. We've yeah. really enjoyed. Uh, well, for a first time cruiser. Yeah, that's me. What, what was um, what was it like going like a port day? What did you th honestly think? What did I think? I didn't really like Nassau. I just think there was a lot of people flogging stuff and selling, and they jump on you, and they're like, there was a lot of scooters. When we got do you out. want scooters? Do you want this? Do you want that? But once we got to the Paradise Island, it was really nice and chilled, and just really looked relaxed, mm -hmm. and it was I'd nice to walk through the nice shops and everything, and um, yeah, it was like an outlet, but. Expensive girl. It was expensive, but it's a, a beautiful resort. And um, I mean, we didn't pay for the water park or anything like that. But once you've done that, you can go around the resort a bit the more. The boat was nice, though. The ferret, the ferry thing. The yeah, and having $4. having having done like a car taxi before, I definitely recommend that. Um, sometimes you have to wait for the next taxi. I think it was going every half an hour. They said, mm -hmm. um, but it was a much more enjoyable ride over to the island. And um, sometimes they do wait for it to fill up, so you could be sitting there. For 20 yeah. Minutes. So bear that in mind, but it was it was affordable and it was a it was a nice way to see the ship and uh, they always had someone on there who was like doing a little speech thing. Granted, you have to tip them, but no, that was that was nice. I like mm -hmm. that. Um, highlight of the day. Highlight of the day. Difficult. Very difficult. You did meet Chippendale in there. I would wear. say the highlight of the day was the Beauty and the Beast show. That was my highlight of the day. Amazing. The I singers, the opera singer that played the wardrobe was incredible. Belle sounded exactly like Paige O'Hara, the original Belle. It was just amazing. And the, the people that played uh, Gaston and LeFou were very much reenactments of the film 
the 2017 film People. That so. show is the reason, well, one of the main reasons why The Dream is my favourite ship. Mm. Uh, and it's won a, an award as well, that, sh that show. Yeah, it was like an American award I've never heard of, but they were like, it was the only cruise line industry show. And just to kind of, I can't show you the show, obviously, but to give you some perspective, they use the space better than anything. Mm. Like, the, the, the scene where she's running through the hills, going through the through the great white somewhere. Yeah, but they use, they've got LCD screens to help with the scenery changes, and they've also got physical scenery that comes on and off with cast members as the story develops. And huge costumes and yes. fantastic but the way the puppets, talent. The way the characters are done is through puppetry, and then as the transformation happens at the Dead end. Spoilers! Spoilers. You'll anyway, <laughs> come and you'll see. Come and you'll see. Yeah, no, it's been a really nice day. Thank you so much for watching the vlog. Um, we really appreciate your support and watching these vlogs and Mickey Show. joining in. Uh, links to all the fun stuff will be in the description below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.